I'm going to show you how you can set a VLAN ID on a Windows Network Adapter. I'm doing this on Windows Server, however it will work exactly the same on Windows Workstation. So to start, if we press the start button and type ncpa.cpl, so open the Network Connections Control Panel. In here we can right click our Network Adapter, select Properties, go to Configure, and then under the Advanced tab we can scroll down to the bottom and then select VLAN ID. We can then modify the value and then enter the VLAN ID that we want to change it to. So in this case, I'll just change it to 10 and then press OK. And now the VLAN ID has been changed to 10. We can also use PowerShell to do this. So if we right click the start menu and run PowerShell as an admin, within here, we can run get net adapter. And this will return a list of all of the network adapters attached to the machine. We can also run the same command and format it to a list and it will list the network adapters and it will also list the VLAN ID. So in this case, we can see that we've still got VLAN ID 10 for our Ethernet network adapter. And then to change it using PowerShell, we can run set dash net adapter and then dash name and then the name of our interface. So in this case, it's Ethernet. And then we can do dash VLAN ID and then enter the VLAN ID that we want to change it to. So I'll change it to 200. It will ask us to confirm the action, so we can press Y to confirm. And then our network adapter has been changed. So to check, we can run get dash net adapter. And it now tells us our Ethernet network card is now on VLAN 200. Now, if you want to remove the VLAN ID altogether, all you need to do is return the VLAN ID to zero. We can then press yes to confirm. And then when we run the get dash net adapter, we can see that our VLAN ID has been returned to zero and it no longer has a specific VLAN. So that's how you can modify the VLAN ID on a Windows network adapter.